One of the trickiest questions most startups face is how much money should they ask for and who should they approach for it? If only there was an enterprise grade magic money tree, entrepreneurs worry that asking for too much will simply result in a blank refusal. There again, if they are shy about their business and ask for too little, does that mean they won't raise all the funding they need? Hmm. Then there are issues about trust and transparency. In trying to attract investors, how safe is it to reveal all about your great invention or service? Will someone come along and pretend to listen politely while planning to run off with your ideas? And even if your investors are entirely honest, what will they demand in return for their money? For example, some venture capitalists will want a say in how your company is run, but are you prepared to let strangers into your small hardworking team? These are completely typical problems that startups face, whatever the market sector they are in, and such concerns are frequently raised in my seminars and at conference appearances. They are real concerns because while enterprises clearly want and need financial support, it's often something that they have very little experience of looking for. Take a group of college graduates for instance. They are smart and hardworking and they've come up with an idea they think could be word beating but actually they don't know a whole lot about business or how to attract the right investors. That's where I come in with advice based on long experience about how to find investors and ensure that startups get the investors they need and deserve. Is there really a magic money tree out there and if so, how do you shake it?